Types of Hazardous Materials Found When Demolishing a House Demolishing a house is never an easy task, and when it's time to tear down or renovate your home, you'll be faced with the hazardous materials that are left behind. You may not know what types of chemicals or other substances lurk in your walls, flooring, and insulation before renovation or demolition begins. The following video will give you an idea of some of the toxic substances and hazardous materials found in residential structures throughout Baton Rouge. Asbestos Although not in use any longer, it was once a popular material for insulation and other purposes. It's been linked to many health concerns, including lung cancer, mesothelioma, cancer of the lining around the lungs, and asbestosis, a chronic inflammatory disease that can lead to scarring in the lungs. Asbestos was used predominantly in the 1950s and 1960s, so you may find it in walls and insulation. Asbestos-containing materials can also be found behind walls, ceilings, floors, insulation, and more. When we demolish any homes built in that period, we always take care to cover up the attic with tarps and seal all of the vents not to spread the dust. We also have to take care when removing asbestos from a house because it's brittle and can crumble or break easily. When this happens, those tiny pieces of fiber can become airborne in what is called an asbestos-related health hazard. As such, taking down houses with asbestos requires strict safety measures as outlined by OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which include 1. All work methods must be performed using negative air pressure systems controls according to 29 CFR 1910.134-1915 BC, including at least one containment area per demolition project. 2. Workers must wear respirators designed for use against particulates while performing all tasks involving breaking or cutting into building materials containing asbestos. 3. All workers must be trained to recognize the signs and symptoms of asbestosis, lung cancer, mesothelioma. 4. No worker may wear a respirator mask while performing any task involving exposure to fibers or structures with friable materials containing asbestos in buildings where occupants are present unless one of these conditions is met. A. The employer can demonstrate that all exposures above 0.01 fibers per cc have been reduced by at least 99% when using engineering controls. B. A written notice has been posted on the premises prohibiting access into work areas without respiratory protection during non-occupational hours. C. An environmental monitoring program has demonstrated that no airborne fibers from such activities exceed acceptable levels set forth by OSHA. These are just a few of the special safety measures that must be taken before demolishing a house that we suspect was built with materials containing asbestos. Lead-based paint. The second hazardous material typically found when we demolish houses is lead paint. Lead-based paint can seep into the air and cause serious health problems when inhaled by adults or children, so it must be removed by a qualified professional before demolition begins. Lead-based paints were banned in residential use for most interior surfaces in 1978 due to their toxicity, but many homes still contain them because they are more resistant to wear than traditional paints. This means that if you're going to demolish a house built before 1978, or one not confirmed as having been renovated since then, all of these layers need to come off. Knock down any walls with sledgehammers or crowbars. Scrape out the plaster from old ceilings with broad knives. Peel away vinyl wallpaper. Use an electric sander to strip off old paint. When we encounter a house that we suspect to have lead paint, we always provide the client with a lead paint disclosure form and ask them to sign it before we begin demolition. If all of these layers contain hazardous materials, then demolition can be dangerous for workers who are not adequately trained in handling that material. That's why some people seek out demolition companies like ours, which use safer practices such as vacuuming up debris rather than loading it into trucks or trailers. Polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs. PCBs are a type of organic, chlorine-based chemical that was widely used in electrical equipment and plastics manufacture until the U.S. Congress banned them because of their adverse human health effects, such as cancer or damage to the immune system. Common items found with PCBs are old fluorescent lights, capacitors, electric motors, such as those found in fans, cable insulation, and sealants. Demolition contractors like ours take special precautions when demolishing buildings containing these chemicals to protect workers from being exposed to them. 
A few ways we do this is through a process called wetting down, which involves spraying water on debris ahead of time so it doesn't become airborne, enclosing demolition activities inside enclosed structures rather than outside, regulating the amount of dust created, not disturbing the ground. Mercury. The next hazardous material typically found during house demolition is mercury which is found in fluorescent light bulbs and old thermostats. Mercury can be a severe health risk when it's inhaled or ingested by humans. It has also been linked to congenital disabilities, so demolition contractors will take extra care while removing this material from the house. When removing materials believed to contain mercury, we always use a sealed container to bring the material out of your house and into our truck. We also rely on personal protective equipment such as gloves, respirators, boots, and coveralls when inside and outside of our equipment. Pesticides Toxins found in pesticides have become a serious issue for the environment. That's why we always take care to make sure that these materials are disposed of properly. Wait! How does a home have pesticides? Aren't those for the garden? If your home has treated wood, it likely has a form of a pesticide, and you didn't even know it. CCA is a pesticide-slash-preservative used to prevent rotten lumber design for outdoor use. CCA contains arsenic, chromium, and copper, which made it an ideal solution until the EPA phased out its usage of the chemical compound from 2003 onward. Household Hazardous Waste When demoing a home, it's not uncommon to find large amounts of what's been called household hazardous waste. Household hazardous waste is typically thought of as old household items that may or may not be dangerous to the person removing them from a house, such as paint cans, gasoline containers, and aerosol cans. Household hazardous substances can also include more dangerous materials like acids, pesticides, and solvents. When demolishing a house, we typically find a large number of household hazardous and solid waste in the following locations. 1. Under sinks and kitchen cabinets because they are often stored there until their usefulness expires. 2. In garages, sheds, or basements near old paint cans and gasoline containers. 3. Near outside trash bins where pesticides may have been discarded by homeowners who no longer want them on their property. These materials can be disposed of at a proper recycling center to help keep these substances out of our water supply or incinerated with other toxic garbage that would typically go into a landfill as general waste. They must not be left sitting around for neighborhood children to play with without supervision due to possible adverse health effects from ingesting chemicals or getting them on their skin. Mold Thanks to the Great Flood of 2016, mold is something that we've become familiar with here in Louisiana. When a house is flooded, water seeps in through the walls and floors. Mold will grow on anything it finds wet inside a building from carpets to ceiling tiles, drywall to insulation, but some areas are more likely than others for mold growth. Some not so obvious places where mold can be found include 1. Beneath sinks or behind toilets where there's been flooding around pipes and drains, under any damp cabinets or closets that have suffered significant damage. 2. At the bottom of stairs leading up to second stories due to leaks from above, under appliances like dishwashers, refrigerators, washing machines, etc. 3. We also find mold in the corners of rooms or on windowsills where they're not getting enough fresh air. When we encounter mold in a house that we're demolishing, we take precautions and wear respirators. We also seal off the area or wet it down with a hose if we can't do anything until it's safe to enter again. All of this is meant to prevent workers from getting sick since mold is known to carry various strains of fungi that can cause lung infections, allergies, asthma attacks, and other symptoms in sensitive people. Avoid hazardous chemicals when demolishing your home. This list is not exhaustive and many chemicals can be found in homes. If you're unsure of what to do with these substances, call a professional demolition company like us. A team member will come out to your location for an assessment to know how much material needs to go where. It's essential for the safety of everyone on site that hazardous materials be disposed of properly before tearing down your home. Don't expose yourself or anyone else at the job site by failing to take precautions against harmful chemicals during the renovation or demolition of your home. Let our experts handle your project.
We'll work with any schedule and budget. Contact us for a free consultation today by calling 225-571-3997 or visiting us at morganconstructionservicesla.com.